The next method of proof we're going to look at is a proof by contradiction. So this is where if we want to prove that some proposition is true, we're going to assume the opposite is true, deduce conclusions from that, and then get something absurd, in which case we'll, we'll have to conclude that we assumed something that was false, and so that's a proof of the proposition. Now let's look at an example of a proof by contradiction. Remember this is where we assume the opposite is true and then show that we get a conclusion which is absurd. The standard example to work through is to show that the square root of 2 is irrational. In other words, it can't be written as a fraction. To proceed with the proof, suppose square root of 2 is a rational number. Then what we can do is we can write the square root of 2 as p divided by q, where p and q are co-prime. Co-prime means that the greatest common divisor between them is 1. If this happens to be true, then if I square both sides, I see that 2 is equal to p squared over q squared. Take the q squared over, this tells me that p squared is equal to 2q squared, and in particular p squared being a multiple of 2 must be even. But if p squared is even, then p must be even, and in particular we see that p is equal to 2m for some m. Now, since p squared is equal to 2q squared, we can insert our expression for p into this, in which case we see that 2m squared is 2q squared, but this just says that 4m squared is 2q squared, and dividing by 2 tells us that q squared is equal to 2m squared. But by what we saw before, if q squared is even, q must be even, and so q is equal to 2n for some integer n. But remember, we assumed that p and q were co-prime, meaning the greatest common divisor between them was 1, and we've just violated that. We've shown that they're both divisible by 2, and so root 2 cannot be a rational number. our knowledge of the previous worked example to try the following practice problem. Try to show this time that the square root of 3 is irrational. Okay, so let's see how to work through this practice problem, trying to show that the square root of 3 is irrational. Proceed by contradiction, and we'll suppose that square root of 3 is a rational number. Then we can write square root of 3 as p over q, where p and q are co-prime, so the greatest common divisor is again equal to 1. If we square both sides, we see that p squared is equal to 3q squared again, but that tells us that p squared is divisible by 3, and in particular p has to be divisible by 3. If p is divisible by 3, then we can write p as 3m for some integer m, now since p squared is equal to 3q squared, we can insert our expression for p, and we find that 3m squared is 3q squared, but that means that 9m squared is 3q squared, so q squared has to be 3m squared. In particular, q squared is divisible by 3, but if q squared is divisible by 3, it must be that q is divisible by 3, and q must therefore be equal to 3n for some integer n. Again, in a similar fashion to what we saw before, this violates the assumption that p and q are co-prime, so square root of 3 can't be a rational number. 